तो ज्वेल कुमार सेन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट डुअल साइकिल एंड वी विल डू डेरिवेशन ऑफ इट प्रोबेबली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू हैव लैंडेड ऑन दिस पेज आई नो दैट सो व्हाट वी आर वेटिंग फॉर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई होप यू हैव वॉच माय ऑल साइकिल डेरिवेशन रिलेटेड टू आई मीन डेरिवेशन रिलेटेड टू ऑटो साइकिल डीजल साइकिल रैंक आइन साइकिल एंड अदर साइकिल्स ऑल्सो but today this cycle is related to auto cycle as well as diesel cycle now in this cycle basically what makes this cycle difference this is a five process cycle remember that five process cycle right i hope this is a unique cycle according to the according to the number of processes right and in this process two times heat addition is taking place heat addition is taking place two times one in constant volume constant volume and another in constant pressure now to understand this constant volume and constant pressure what we have to do that is we have to draw a pv diagram right so let's get started about it what is the pv diagram of this auto cycle probably i have to get another marker <laughs> right i will get one no problem so this is a pv diagram for auto cycle right yeah so suppose that this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so earlier i have shared with you that dual cycle is a five process cycle now from this diagram yeah this is a diagram of pv diagram in short we call pv diagram but most of the time those do not practice a lot they forget about this v they remember what is p pressure but they always most of the time i have seen student confused with that that is what is v they confused with that is this velocity or volume then let me share with you this is volume so don't get confused in this okay if you get confused remember auto cycle is also known as constant volume cycle that means v we are using for drawing pv cycle is volume not velocity remember that okay so the process is going like this now as from the diagram you can say 2 3 is a constant volume process and 3 4 is a constant pressure process again 5 1 is a constant volume process so i have shared with you heat addition is taking place in this cycle two times heat addition is taking place from 2 to 3 that is okay and from 3 to 4 also and heat rejection is taking place from 5 to 1 so what i am doing one is uh, one i am using ii for initial and oo for out okay or uh, you can use e also eh? you yeah, enter and out that would be much better right to understand so this is a pv diagram for auto i uh, mean sorry dual cycle now let's go for the ts diagram that diagram is also important right as pv diagram because i have seen in most of the competitive examination they ask question from ts diagram because this diagram is not familiar with students that's why they try to as question from this diagram okay so this is 1 to 2 1 2 to 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 so the direction would be like this this is a constant volume this is constant pressure and this is 4 to 1 con uh, 4 to 5 what is this this is isentropic process you can say that 1 to 2 is also isentropic process because entropy is constant and 5 to 1 is constant volume process constant volume process right so this is about the diagram now what we are going to do we are going to as i know if you are studying this that means you are preparing for university examination that means you have to do something on your answer sheet that's why you will get marks i know that so draw this diagram draw light uh, write this that this is a dual cycle and here two times we do addition of heat in k1 in case of constant volume as well as in case of constant pressure then draw these two diagrams right now we'll discuss in brief 
not in brief in uh, yeah sufficient that's sufficient so uh, what about this process i mean what is going on in this process so one to two process for one to two process what is going on let me share with you so one to two process what is air air is compressed i must say that air is com compressed isentropically here is compressed isentropically right now its volume ratio uh, sorry its compression ratio you can also say that because here is compressing isentropic means entropy is constant from 1 to 2 you can say that this is as is entropy and t is temperature from 1 to 2 what is happening here entropy is constant that's why we have written isentropically compressed and its compression ratio compression ratio is equal to v1 by v2 its compression ratio is what v1 by v2 now let's go for the next one that is 2 by 3 2 by 2 to 3 process what is about this 2 to 3 process we need to understand they here what is happening 2 in 3 heat addition is going on heat addition is going on but this is a process of constant volume constant volume okay this is a process of constant volume and here we can find out something i know it, it's a uh, but pressure is increase uh, the constant volume is here but pressure is increasing as you can see two to three is pressure is increasing so we can say uh, explosion ratio it is also known as explosion ratio is equal to p3 by p2 okay now let's go for the next process what is about that that is 3 to 4 this is a what type of process this is a constant 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 pressure process and in this process also we are we are adding adding heat from this diagram alone you can see that right so in this case what basically doing that is we can get one another ratio that is known as cut off ratio if you have seen uh, the efficiency of i mean thermal efficiency of dual cycle then probably you have you are aware about this cut up ratio that is v3 uh, v4 by v3 now let's go for the another process that process is what 4 to 5 4 to 5 process so 4 to 5 process what is going on there that is also isentropic process right so isentropic expansion is going on there and this is also a isentropic process but here expansion is going on right and here you can say that that is ratio of its volume or expansion ratio or you can say that i say yeah expansion ratio is good now expansion ratio is equal to what b5 by v4 okay now let's go for the last process let's go for the last process that is 5 to 1 process so in this process 5 to 1 process is what constant volume process it is a constant volume process and in this process what is happening basically heat is rejecting it is rejecting got it so this is all about the processes okay now let's go for the derivation i mean how to find out thermal efficiency of dual cycle okay so that is also important we have to understand that now let's go for that one let's go for that one so what we got basically we know that efficiency is equal to what output by input this is a this is an universal right so we know that what is output basically for any cycle work done and input is heat added this is it now for finding out efficiency is equal to what for this cycle that means dual cycle we have to find out how much work done we are getting first second we also need to find out how much heat is added 
so from the diagram alone we can say that heat is adding in two process 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 2 to 3 is a constant volume process and 3 to 4 is a constant pressure process now let's go for this so what we'll find out basically heat added so heat added how many processes in heat is adding that is 3 to 2 uh, sorry 2 to 3 process 2 to 3 process and 3 to 4 process all right so 2 to 3 process what is a what is what is about this process that is a constant volume process therefore cv t3 minus t2 and 3 to 4 is a constant pressure process cp T4 minus T3. Got it? Now, now what we have to do? We have to find out heat rejected. Heat rejected. Okay. So heat rejected is a going on only one process. That is 5 to 1 process. And this is a constant volume process. I have already shared with you. So its formula would be Cv T5 minus T1 got it now what is work done if i'll i will ask you what is work done work done is equal to heat added minus heat rejected okay this is simple let me make you understand by drawing a heat engine so this is a heat engine right and this is work done so this is let's say qi and q out so we know that incoming is equal to outgoing so work done is equal so we can write from here according to first law itself q1 is equal to because energy energy is neither created and nor be destroyed however it can transfer in one form to another form so we are uh, changing this heat into work done so q1 is equal to work done plus qo so work done is equal to what q1 q1 minus qo so what is q1 here that is that is heat added qe and what is heat rejected here q not therefore we can say that heat added minus heat rejected what we got from here only so from this concept you can understand why we are writing this because this is also important you should understand the concept that is first and second then you need to go on right so first of all you need to understand why is it happening why i am writing this you need to know about it right so let's go for it now heat addition is how much here that is cv t3 minus t2 plus cp t4 minus t3 minus cv t5 minus t1 and heat added already we got now we have to write we have to write this equation and here because we don't have space there so efficiency is equal to what cv t3 minus t2 plus cp t4 minus t3 minus cv t5 minus t1 i have to get few good markers i mean this is to be finished i think so right so now uh, cv t3 minus t2 plus cp t4 minus t3 now as you can see this term and this term both are equal so we can divide so this one become 1 minus cv t5 minus t1 this is cv t3 minus t2 plus cp t4 minus t3 right now what we have to do we can divide by cp cp so what we got 1 minus i mean we'll divide both the terms by cv and cv not cp okay so we'll get here t5 minus t1 division t3 minus t2 plus gamma t4 minus t3 so this is the thermal efficiency form, uh, formula for finding out in case of dual cycle so this is all about this tutorial i hope you understand the tutorial if you are getting help don't forget to subscribe i mean subscribe the channel and of course don't forget to share with your friends that's why they can also get help more from my tutorials thanks for watching thank you very much hope to see you again in my next video tutorial bye bye